Using Riverside, you can now live stream to multiple social media platforms and any RTMP destination in 1080p high quality and make that live stream engaging by using Riverside features like the media board to share video and audio files, screen shares, presentation recorder, and more. To show you how it works, I'm gonna go to one of my Riverside studios and get ready to record. You'll see here in the upper left-hand corner of the Riverside Studio, there's a new live stream tool. If I expand that menu, you'll see new tools for live streaming. You can select the gear icon here and stream in up to 1080p video quality, and you can choose to remove the Riverside watermark here. Underneath that, you have multiple streaming destinations here, and we can add all those accounts at once to simulcast everywhere. We'll do that in a moment, but I also wanna show you our studio branding. Here you can add a logo, custom colors, or even a background image, I'm gonna choose my podcast image background. You can also do a hex code color to match your brand perfectly. I'm gonna choose the prismatic color option. You can change how names appear for both you and remote guests in the live stream. Choose to fit the full 16 by nine video in the frame or filling the frame. And if you're on the Riverside business platform, you can carry this branding into the lobby so remote guests see it as soon as they click your guest link. Now that I've branded the studio, let's add some social networks to live stream. We'll add our YouTube channel first. Clicking YouTube, you'll be brought over to the Google login page. Once you've logged in with your Google account, you can choose the YouTube channel attached to that account and add that to your Riverside Studio. We've added YouTube, now let's also add Twitch. Here you'll be brought to the Twitch login page and easily connected here in Riverside. And we can continue to add more, like a Facebook page. I'll add Facebook here. This can be a Facebook profile or a full page. Accounts like LinkedIn, just log in with your LinkedIn account, select allow so Riverside can live stream to your profile. If you have multiple profiles for that LinkedIn account, choose the one you'd like to live stream to and now LinkedIn is connected as well. We can also add our Twitter account. Here you'll need the stream URL and stream key. To get this information, go to studio.twitter.com and then go to your producer tab. Here you can create a source. We'll name this Riverside. Choose your region and then click create. Now you'll get the RTMP URL and the stream key that you can put here in Riverside and then add your Twitter account. Once you've added your multiple social destinations, you can actually toggle them on or off before you go live. Let's say I wanna to stream to YouTube and Twitch, but don't wanna to stream to LinkedIn or Twitter right now. I can disable those destinations, but keep YouTube and Twitch enabled. It keeps your accounts connected, so you can always customize this before you hit record. I can change the title and description for the live stream that goes to those social platforms here. And now I'm ready to live stream. When I hit record here in my studio, not only am I still recorded in high quality, and I can download the separate tracks later or use the Riverside editor, but I'll start live streaming as soon as the countdown goes to zero. Now that I've begun recording and live streaming, I can go back to this live streaming tool here at the top, click any of the social destinations, and I can preview that live stream. You'll see the studio branding and logo is still here in the live streams as well. And then I can share this link out and monitor the chat for each platform. Keep in mind, you will need to keep these windows for YouTube, Twitch, or other destinations open so you can see the chat and comments on each of those platforms. Now as I live stream, I can present videos like from the media board here in Riverside, set that as live, I'll go in picture in picture along with my remote guests. And you can see these videos show up across your live streams on all destinations, making your live stream even more engaging. The same is true for screen shares or presentations that you might have on the Riverside business platform. I can present these slides and those will show up in the live stream as well. When I'm done recording and streaming, I can hit the stop button here in the studio and that's going to upload all the video files, both me and my remote guest video and audio, plus media board files and screen shares, so I can put it all together in the Riverside editor. Here on the recordings page, I can choose to generate AI show notes, which includes summary, keywords, takeaways, even title ideas, sound bites, and chapter markers from my recording. Underneath that, I can generate magic clips, which will create vertical videos for my long form content, put animated captions on there. And then below that, I can download all the separate video and audio files. I can download the video tracks for both me and my remote guests, and also every screen share and media board file will have its own separate video that you can download. But the real magic happens is putting it all together in the Riverside editor. Click the edit button in the top right and let's create a new edit. Here in the editor, I can adjust the layout and branding of my video as well. I'm gonna add some spacing between me and my guest and also upload a custom background image or I can use one of these images built into Riverside right here. As you can see throughout the recording, if we did any screen shares or media board files, the Riverside editor will automatically focus on that and then put me and my remote guests in small picture-in-picture -picture windows. You can also change the layout, and instead of grid, I can choose full screen, and it will put whatever screen share or the active speaker full screen throughout the entire recording. I personally like the grid look. This way, me and my co-host are side by side, and then any screen shares will be focused on when I present those. If you wanna edit your content, you actually get a full transcript with every recording. You can select text and delete it, 
and you're actually editing your video and audio content that way. You can search the transcript to quickly jump to a certain point, and you can see all those search results reflected down here in the timeline. I can also zoom in on the timeline using this tool in the bottom right corner, and I can also split the timeline by putting the playhead where I'd like, click this tool to split the clip. I can do that as many times as I need, and then rearrange my content just by clicking and dragging these sections around the timeline. You can also use our magic tools features like set pace, removing the perfect amount of silence. We'll let you know how many pauses and seconds of silence we remove, depending on how fast you want the pace to be. We also have our magic audio feature, which will make any microphone sound studio quality. If you want to make vertical video for TikTok or YouTube shorts, you can change the format right here in the Riverside Editor, add some animated captions using our tool here on the right, multiple templates to choose from, and then you can go customize the font, size, even animation style all right here. Maybe I'll change the color of that animation. And we even have text and image overlay features. This way, if you want to add lower thirds or URLs for a sponsor, add those text overlays. Image overlays, you can pull stock imagery, search for images up here, or upload your own images. Overlay that on top of your video. And when you're ready to export, click the export button in the top right corner. You can export up to 4K video. Normalize audio makes everyone the same volume. And you're ready to export this fully edited video completely in Riverside. And that's how to simulcast to multiple live streaming destinations, all using Riverside. If you want to learn more about our Live Studio add-on feature, again, check that link down in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to the Riverside channel, hit that like button. We have even more features coming very soon, and you can hear about it right here as they come out. And if you want to learn more about the entire Riverside platform and how to use it to record your podcast, live stream your webinars, or just record your internal team communications, check out this playlist right here where I walk you through the entire platform. And if you want to upgrade your setup or make the most of the gear you currently have for high quality video and audio, you can use tools like Riverside Magic Audio for that and I have a video explaining it all right here. Thanks for watching. We can't wait to see what you live stream.